Over the last several years, we've, wit we've witnessed an ugly pattern, an ugly pattern of the decision makers in government who have put a greater emphasis on the bottom line rather than an emphasis on the well-being of our children. Two years ago, just two years ago, there were efforts to strip free metro cards from our children to force them to pay to go to school. Two years ago. Fast forward two years later, further attacks that jeopardize the safety and well-being of our children and their ability to get to school in one piece. Now, collectively, what we have to do is fight back against the notion that the blunders of the Wall Street Bank should be paid for off the backs of our children. I want to take this moment to introduce the president of ATU Local 1181, Michael Cordiello. Yeah. And say one thing, despite Despite the rhetoric coming from Mayor Bloomberg, Michael Cordiello is actually standing with parents to protect the safety and security of our children as they go to school and come home from school in relative safety. Thank you. For 32 years, it has been the city's policy to ensure that skilled and reliable people, like the ones behind the wheel at the bus stops, New York City parents put their children's lives in their hands every single morning of our drivers, escorts, and mechanics. It goes without saying that we had better be the best at what we do. But now, despite of 32 years of support for this policy, the city has suddenly changed its tune and wants to ship out city bus contracts to the cheapest bidders, with no provisions in place to guarantee they hire the best, most experienced drivers. It's another attack on, by the mayor on working people. We aren't about to let the city make such a careless move. Without a fight, it's time to raise our voices and continue how our experienced people continue transporting those children. If you want an example of what happens when we let career bus drivers go in favor of cheap untrained workers, look no farther than the discount bus industry. As New Yorkers saw too well this past March, when 15 individuals were killed in a horrific casino bus accident, in the Bronx. Lack of regulations and employment conditions put the lives of every passenger on board that bus in danger. Imagine for one moment those were your children on a school bus. The jobs and the safety are combined. They go together. And we must not let bus cutting destroy that. Thank you very much. Woo!